Now, in life, there's two types of motivation. There's something called internal motivation and external motivation. Now, motivation is cool because motivation is what we call a stimulus to act. Like when we're motivated, we do more than when we're non-motivated. I think you would all agree with that. Well, a lot of people, what they do is they get externally motivated. So in other words, there's something outside of them that causes them to go and take action. Now, it could be pain, it could be a need to make money, or whatever the case is, but there's an external motivation outside of them. The problem when we deal with external motivation, when the motivation isn't there, sometimes we fall back into old habit patterns, and we go back to doing it the way we used to do it. But there's also something called internal motivation. Now, Adil and Fareem, these are internally motivated people. I've watched them over the last number of years. They've got this incredible drive in life. They've got this incredible desire to go out there and succeed, but they do it in such a beautiful way. I mean, it's just, it's a wonderful way that they succeed. And I look at it and say, we've got to find the inner drive. Because if I look and say, what stops most people from implementing the things that we're going to teach over the next two and a half days? And it's drive. They don't have that internal motivation. Now, they go to a seminar, get all revved up. You know what I mean? Like, wow, 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 walk into the seminar. I'm going to turn the world upside down. You know what I mean? And we go back to the office and we're so excited. We got the workbook and all the things that we're going to do. And then the first day we start doing a few of them. Then other people are looking at you and they think you're a little weird. Have you ever done that stuff before? Anybody been there before? And then they look at you and say, are you another one of those damn seminars? Right? And then after a while, the world conditions us right back to where we were before. And then all of a sudden, nothing ever changes. And the reason is because we got externally motivated, but we didn't get what? Internally motivated. So my question is, if you're going to change and build a better business, why? Why do you want to do that? Because, see, the why is more important than the how, Benjamin. Because, see, the how brings solutions, but the why brings meaning. Would you all agree with that? See, the how to do something brings solutions, but the why brings meaning. When we got a why, when we got something inside of us that says, I want to do it, I want to do it, here's why I want to do it. When we got our why, we can accomplish anyhow. Then the how becomes easy. But until we know why we want it, the how can be useless to us because we get more information that we don't what? that we don't use. Here's an example. I was speaking a number of years ago. That was a long jump. Better not do that again. Um, I was speaking a number of years ago, and there was a smaller audience of, say, about 150 people. It was actually probably about five or six years ago. And I'll never forget, of course, on the break, I went into the men's room. Now, as a speaker, it's interesting if you're in the men's room, if you're in one of the stalls, and nobody knows you're in there, and to listen to what everybody's saying that's at the seminar, right? So anyway, I'm in one of the stalls, and there's these two gentlemen standing, obviously, the urinal just out beside me. And I remember the one guy said to the other guy, he said, so, so what do you think? And he said, oh, it's pretty good. Guy's a pretty good speaker. And I'm sitting there going, all right, that's what I want to hear, right? You know what I mean? Ego, ego, ego. So anyway, and then the other guy says, yeah, I agree, good communicator. You know, I've heard some of this stuff before. And the other guy goes, yeah, me too. Okay? I'm thinking, well, that's not what I want to hear. But anyway, and it is, they've heard it before, I get it. Then what I did was I walked out. Now we're all standing, we're washing our hands together, right? Good hygiene. We're washing our hands, and anyway, I said, uh, you know, I overheard what you were saying there, and I said, uh, so you've heard some of this stuff before? Well, yeah, yeah, but you presented in a different way, and I'm going like, oh, quit kissing my ass here. You know what I mean? Like, anyway, I know what you're saying. You heard some of this stuff before. And we sort of joked, and we laughed about it a bit, and as we're walking back to the, the seminar room, I said, let me ask you a question. The stuff that we presented there, are you doing it? What do you think the answer was? No. So you know it, you've heard it, but not what? Doing it. So in my mind, I'm thinking, what are you looking for? Like, what are you looking for? The next magic pill? You know what I mean? The next seminar they will teach us something else we're not going to do. Well, the challenge is the reason we don't always act in what it is we know is because we don't have a why. We don't have a drive. We don't know why we want it. We will act when we need it. You know what I mean? Like, I need to make money. I need to solve this problem. I will act. But we can have a bigger drive, something more internal than that, that gets us up and gets us going in the morning. That's called your why. See, the how brings solutions. Ten steps to listing property brings solutions, but the why brings what? Meaning. Without meaning, most of it is useless. Without meaning, most of it is useless.